Shalom, Shalom, Has Judah, Has Israel. This is Acts of the Habitants of Sodom and Gomorrah from the book of Jasher. This is an insight into what both cities, Sodom and Gomorrah, did to incite God and destroy both cities. Now you hear about Sodom and Gomorrah being wicked, but why? Ask yourself why. Now they were known for being homosexuals, but what actions did they do that? were so horrendous to God. Alright, and you guys will learn that in this study. Let's continue. Here is a Genesis account, uh, chapter 18 through 19, verse 20. And the Lord said, Because the cry of Sodom and Gomorrah is great, and because their sin is grievous. Verse 21. I will go down now and see whether they have done altogether according to the cry of it, which has come unto me. And if not, I would know. What happened? Being once like an Edenic area, you see nowadays it's just completely dead. As we are told, happened to this place that was judged. Today it's completely dead. Nothing is growing here. The whole thing is like sponge. But I really want to find one of those sulfur stones before I before the sun goes down. I really want to find one of those stones to show you. That is not a normal shape. That doesn't look natural at all. <laughs> that is definitely seems to be a man-made shape and is this not enough evidence for people to, to find all of these man-made looking structures, ashen remains, crumble in your hands, in the location where we're told in the Bible as, a, as evidence of God's judgment, as uh, described by Josephus, historian, but then also finding circular, almost pure sulfur balls in the middle of the ash in the middle of the walls and the shapes of the buildings. Is this not enough evidence for us to, to see that A, the Bible is true, and B, God is a just God and we need a saviour. Because sin requires punishment. Sin is, it brings on the wrath of God and this place is the evidence of the wrath, the wrath of God, a holy God who is righteous and true, and this place was very rebellious and uh, not only went into sexual deviance and other deviances, but was also a place that was going into the spiritual um, abominations, much like we see written about the Mark of the Beast and the hybridization and the, you know, the uh, merging with the fallen and, and all of these things. So this seems to be a place that was going into that and received absolute annihilation, turned to dust with fire and brimstone that rained down from heaven. The brimstone is still evident in these ash structures, still evident, pure sulfur. And I believe has been studied and, and checked and found to be almost entirely pure some of the purest, if not the purest, that you can find in the world is in these ashen remains. Come on, folks. As you can see on this map, the location of Sodom Moore is clearly evident. Uh, we don't know if this map is truly accurate, but it says that Sodom and Gomorrah were adjacent to the shallow waters of South Ala Lisan, or a former peninsula in the central part of the Dead Sea, and uh, in Israel that now fully separates the sea's northern and southern basins. This is not all that happened 
and these accounts chapter 18 and 19 but it is a summary of what happened this lesson will be about finding the loopholes of what happened to Sodom and Gomorrah behind the scenes and you will see that on this next slide Jasher 18 verses 11 through 13 verse 11 and in those days all the people of Sodom and Gomorrah and of the whole five cities were sinly wicked and sinful against the Lord and they provoked the Lord with their abominations and they strengthened the ancient abominably and scornfully before the Lord and their wickedness and their crimes were in those days great before the Lord verse 12 and they had in their land a very extensive valley about a day's walk and in it there were fountains of water and a great deal of herbage surrounding the water verse 13 and all the people of Sodom and Gomorrah were there four four times in the year with their wives and children and all belonging to them and they rejoiced there with temples and dancing As you can see, when a stranger came to their cities and bought goods, he would dispose of there. And then the men, the women and children, young and old, would go to the man and take his goods by force, giving each to each man until there was an end to all the goods of the owner which he had brought into the land. And if this owner fought back against them, then they would approach him one by one. And each would show him the little he which he took and taunt him, saying, I only took that little which thou didst give me. And when he heard this from them all, he would rise and go from them in sorrow and bitterness of the soul. And when they would all rise and go after him and drive him out of the city with great noise and tumult. And Jasher chapter 18 verses 18 to 43 a man from the country of elam was tricked by an inhabitant of sodom known namely by the name of hadad and hadad lowered him inside his home and then attempted to charge him for his stay and his ability to interpret dreams all right israel the moment you have been waiting for here we will dive into joshua 19 which gives you various accounts of how the inhabitants of sodom traded foreigners and how the laws were very corrupt as you guys can see uh, the cities of Sodom they had four judges to four cities their names were Sirach and the city of Sodom Shakad and Gomorrah Zabnak and Adma and Menon and Zeboim and Eli Eliezer Abraham's servant he applied them different names he converted Serak to Chakra Shakad to Shakura Zebnak to Kezobin and Menon to Matzolodin verse 3 and by the desire of the four judges the people of Sodom and Gomorrah had beds erected in the streets of the cities and if a man came to these places they laid hold of him and brought him to one of their beds and by force made him to lie in them verse 4 as he would lay down three men would stand at his head and three at his feet and measure him by the length of the bed and if the man was less than the bed these six men would stretch him at each end and when he cried out to them they would not answer him verse 5 and if he was longer than the bed, they would draw together the two sides of the bed at each end until the man had reached the gates of death. And if he continued to cry out to them, they would answer, saying, Thus shall it be done to a man that cometh into our land. Verse 7 And when men heard all these things that the people of the city of Sodom did, they refrained from coming there. Verse 8 and when a poor man came into the land, they would give him silver and gold, 
and cause a proclamation in the whole city, not to give him a morsel of bread to eat. And if the stranger should remain there some days and die from hunger, not having been able to obtain a morsel of bread, then at his death all the people of the city will come and take their silver and gold, which they have given to him. Verse 9. And those that could recognize the silver and gold, which they had given to him, took it back. And at his death they also stripped him of his garments, and they will fight about them. And he that prevailed over his neighbor took them. Verse 10. They would after that carry carry him and bury him under some of the shrubs in the deserts. So they did all the days to anyone that came to them and died in their land. Now this is Eliezer the account of his time in Sodom. Now Eliezer in Jewish tradition this is his name. But in the Bible, in the Genesis accounts, you do not have his name. He is known as the unnamed servant, the steward of Abraham and all of his house. Now, a quick summary about this chapter is he went to Sodom and he saw a poor man being afflicted. And because he saw the poor man being afflicted, he went to supplicate the man on, on his behalf. Because of what this man of Sodom did to him. But when when Eliezer went to help the poor man and gather his clothes, he was struck, struck with a, a stone, and he made Eliezer bleed, as you will see on the next slide. Now on this part you will see how Eliezer gets back at the man of Sodom. I'll be reading it from verses 17 to, to 22. And the blood flowed copiously from Eliezer's forehead. And when the man saw the blood, he caught hold of Eliezer, saying, Give me my hire for having rid thee of this bad blood that was in thy forehead. For such is the custom and the law in our land. Verse 18. And Eliezer said to him, Thou hast wounded me and requires me to pay thee thy hire. And Eliezer would not hearken to the man of Sodom. Verse 19. And the man lay hold of Eliezer and brought him to Shakra, the judge of Sodom, for judgment. Verse 20. And the man spoke to the judge, saying, I beseech thee, my lord, thus this man has done, for I smote him with a stone that the blood flowed from his forehead, and he is unwilling to give me my hire. Verse 21, And the judge said to Eliezer, This man speaketh truth to thee. Give him his hire, for this is the custom in our land. And Eliezer heard the words of the judge, and he lifted up a stone and smote the judge. And the stone struck on his forehead, and the blood flowed copiously from the forehead of the judge. And Eliezer said, If this then is the custom in your land, give thou unto this man what has given him. For this had been thy decision, thou didst decree it. Verse 22 And Eliezer left the man of Sodom with the judge, and he went away. So you see, as as of this account, he got right back at the man of Sodom, doing doing unto them as as he was done. Verse 23 picks up back where the kings uh elam they uh, took lot captive and abraham went and rescued them now the uh, portion that's not mentioned in the bible is the portion of 24 through 29 all right so this account is about lot's daughter peltith all right i will be reading from 24 to 29 at the time that the wife of Lot bare him a daughter, and he called her name Paltith, saying, Because God had delivered him and his whole household from the kings of Elam, and Paltith, daughter of Lot, grew up, and one of the men of Sodom, men of Sodom, took her for a wife. Verse 25 And a poor man came into the city to seek a maintenance, and he remained in the city some days. And all the people of Sodom caused a proclamation of their custom 
not to give this man a morsel of bread to eat until he dropped dead onto the earth. And they did so. Verse 26. And Paul said, the daughter of Lot saw this man lying in the street, starved with hunger, and no one would give him anything to keep him alive. And he was just upon the point of death. Verse 27. And her soul was filled with pity on account of the man, and she fed him secretly with bread for many days, and the soul of this man was revived. Verse 28. For when she went to forth to fetch water, she would put the bread in the water pitcher, and when she came to the place where the poor man was, she took, she took the bread from the pitcher and gave it to him to eat. So she did many days. Verse 29. And all the people of Sodom and Gomorrah wondered how this man could bear starvation for so many days. Verse 30. And they said to each other, This can only be that he eats and drinks, for no man can bear starvation for so many days, or live as this man has, while even his countenance changing. And three men concealed themselves in a place where the poor man was stationed, to know who it was that brought him bread to eat. Verse 31. And the daughter Lot went forth that day to fetch water, and she put bread into a, her pitcher of water, and she went to draw water by the poor man's place. And she took out the bread from the pitcher and gave it to the poor man, and he ate it. Verse 32. And the three men saw what the daughter Lot did to the poor man, and they said to her, It is thou who has supported him, and therefore has he not starved, nor changed in appearance, nor died like the rest. Verse 33. And the three men went out of place in which they were concealed, and they seized the daughter Lot, and the bread which was in the poor man's hand. Verse 34. And they took the daughter of Lot, and she, they brought her before the judges, and they said to him, Thus did she do, and it is he, it is she who supplied the poor man with bread. Therefore he, therefore it, did he not die all this time. Now therefore declare unto us the punishment due to this woman for having transgressed our law. Verse 35 And the people of Sodom and Gomorrah assembled and kindled a fire, kindled a fire in the street of the city. And they took the woman and they cast her into the fire and she was burned into ashes. Now, on this slide right here, there's another event, just like what happened to the dog Lot, but her fate was different. All right, well, I'll start off with uh, 37. For a traveler came into the city of Adma to buy there all night with the intention of going home in the morning. And he sat opposite the door of the house of a young, man, young woman's father to remain there as the sun set when he had reached that place. And the young woman saw him sitting by the door of that house. Verse 38. And he asked her for a drink of water. And she said to him, Who art thou? And he said to her, I was this day going on the road and, and reached there, reached here when the sun set. So I will buy here all night and in the morning I will rise early and continue my journey. Verse 39. And the young woman went into the house and fetched the man bread and water to eat and drink. Verse 40, And this fair became known to the people of Adma, and they assembled and brought the young woman before the judges, that they should judge her for this act. Verse 41, And the judge said, The judgment of death must pass upon this woman, because she transgressed our law, and this is therefore the, the decision concerning her. Verse 2, And the people of those cities assembled and brought out young, the young woman, and known her with honey from head to foot. They anointed her with honey. Israel. They anointed her with honey from head to foot, as the judge had decreed. And they placed her before a swarm of bees, which were then in their hives. And the bees flew upon her and stung her, that her whole body was swelled. Verse 43. And the young woman cried out on account of the bees, but no one took notice of her or pity her and her cries ascend to heaven 
hopefully with these accounts you see all these different accounts you'll see how wicked the people of Sodom and Gomorrah was it wasn't it wasn't just homosexuality homosexuality was the main reason but there were other things that these people were doing and it is stated stated in the book of Jasher all right verse 44 and the Lord was provoked at this and at all the works of the cities of Sodom for they had abundance of food and had tranquility amongst them and still would not sustain the poor and the needy and in those days their evil and doings and sins became great before the Lord so right right below uh, verses 45 to 49 is the same the same Genesis account the angels came from Abraham's tent after they had eaten and drink they had eaten and drunk they reached Sodom in the morning they brought a lot out and they they told Lot to get ready to get prepared to leave they told Lot leave this go forth from this place lest you thou be consumed in the iniquity of the city for the Lord will burn this place so this again is the same account that the Bible gives as you see verse 51 and 52 God rained fire and brimstone upon the cities from heaven and he overthrew the cities and the wife of Lot she turned back to see the destruction of the cities and she became a pill of salt and is in the same place till this day so the same count is given here we go again the same Genesis account Abraham rose up and saw the smoke of the cities going up like the smoke of a furnace and then verses the verses below of Josh 19 57 through 60 talks about the daughter of Lot both daughters of Lot how they both bore him sons as when he was sleeping for they thought that no man was upon the earth anymore there you go you have Moab being the father of the Moabites and Ammon being the father of the Ammonites this is a special video about how some of the evidence and remains of Sodom actually still exist to this day let's start
you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And comment down, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think and how we can make this channel better. Tailored for you, House Israel, House Judah. With that being said,